Good morning, folks. So today we've got a very short video. I discovered something that kind of stupid, kind of simple, but worth checking and thought I'd do a quick video. So the title of the video is How to Improve Your Sustain in 30 Seconds. And really it's, it's as simple as just checking something while you've got the strings off. So what happened was my Christmas Strat here I was never real thrilled with the sustain. It was always a little weak. And I have changed the strings before. Uh, when I got it, I left the strings on it for, I don't know, like a month and changed them. But I did them one at a time. And I don't know, what I was just focused on the strings. I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention. Didn't check everything else. You know, I checked the tuner as I did each one, made sure they were snug, but I didn't check the rest of the guitar. I was cleaning off the bridge saddles and that was it. And it, nothing changed. I was hoping part of the sustain was dead strings, blah, 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 nothing. Well, this time when I changed the strings, I took them all off. And what I noticed was the neck ended up just a little play. Like it, it, it suddenly could tip forward and backward just a little. All four screws were not snug. They didn't look off. Visually, they, they looked normal. I got a full turn at least on each of them. And the, the difference is astronomical. I mean, the, the difference in sustain from being a little bit loose to a little bit, you know, to snug down. I mean, night and day, night and day. It's, it's two different guitars. Uh, in the past, it wasn't bad. I, I, I certainly was not complaining about it. I, I was not going to, oh my God, I gotta take this into a shop and have them check it out. I just wasn't thrilled with it. Uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, should I buy another block? Should I change the saddles? Should I, you know, is there something wrong with the nut? Everything seemed okay. I mean, uh, nothing's, crazy. This is an American Special Strat. It's not a uh, deluxe or, or custom shop or anything, but it's not a basic Squire either. Didn't know. Tighten those down. It has got sustained like a set neck. Uh, really awesome. I definitely no longer thinking about doing anything to it in that regard. Check it. Uh, put it on your list. When you do new strings, Take them all off, check those screws, because they felt snug. Uh, that I had actually checked them uh, before, but under the string tension, the friction was enough that they felt snug. And I didn't want to you know, torque them down real hard, because then you're just compressing wood, and, and eventually you, know, you just you report, reach diminishing returns, and you're, you're just doing damage. Simple thing, nice and easy, did a great fix. That's it. I'm keeping it short. Take care all. Have a great weekend. Hope you have a great week and I'll try to not go, what, three weeks without a video again. Um, life's just been a little crazy and guitar is not at the top of my priority list. But, little sneak preview. That happened. So this is, if you don't recognize it, this is a Gibson BFG, and this one's the, the P90s, barely finished guitar. That is actually textured. It is, it's like the rough carve that they then put finish on and rubbed it off on the highs. So it feels like an alligator skin or, or something like that. Um, hardware's good, uh, no no bound neck, uh, but it is nicely rounded. Could be a little more rounded. I mean, they're at the very top, they get a little little sharp, but it's not finished, there's just a little lacquer. So if I decide I don't like it, a little, little sanding, take care of that. Um, I love it, I love it. Uh, the only complaint I got is the pickups are really noisy. And typical P90, and as I said before, my house is noisy, so 
it is what it is. Anyway, there will be more about this later. I am thinking about changing the pickups. I've got some other stuff, but just figured I would share. I'm, I'm loving it. I wanted a, a Les Paul. I wanted a nice one. And, you know, it doesn't have the fit and finish. The, the, no, I shouldn't say fit and finish. It doesn't have the, the elegance and, and expensive finishing that Gibson charges out the ass for. What it's got is the fit of a Gibson. Gibson hardware, Gibson name, which uh, for resale value and long-term value is, is probably worthwhile. But it feels, it feels good. Um, anyway, different video. Take care all. Take it easy.